So what we're not gonna do is roll out the scroll on the number of black women in our unrequited love. No, 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 no. Not today, Satan. But what we are gonna do is protect our peace. So come get this healing. That is black women still healing the world. Peace, peace, people. My name is Kamani Mocha Jade. Kamani Jade for short. And you tuned into More Lyrical. Today, I'm naming 10 sisters, doctors, doulas, bishops, and healers, oh my, who are doing this work, the work of healing our community and focusing on our emotional and mental health. And I wanna start with Dr. Joy Harden Bradford. Dr. Joy Harden Bradford is a clinical psychologist based in Atlanta, Georgia, and she is the creator and founder of Therapy for Black Girls. Now, you can find Therapy for Black Girls on her website, www.therapyforblackgirls.com. You can find it all across our socials. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Therapy for Black Girls is an online platform. For example, their Facebook group that is dedicated to black women and girls and their mental wellness. And there is a podcast by the same name, which you can check out here on YouTube or Apple Podcasts or wherever you find your podcast. And don't skip out on the website because on there, you'll be able to access a network of black women therapists and other people of color who are equally committed to connecting to people like you and encouraging your mental health. Second, you've heard her name plenty of times, especially in my last video on mania and hallucinations and what it's been like living with bipolar one disorder. And her name is Dr. Tracy Marks. Dr. Tracy Marks is a general psychologist who specializes in forensic psychiatry, and you can find her right here on YouTube. Her entire mission is to educate people on psychiatric diagnoses and disorders to encourage self-improvement and overall mental well-being. On her channel, you can learn more about bipolar disorder, attention deficit disorder, schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia, depression, stress, and anxiety. Dr. Tracy Marks has been doing this work for over 20 years. Not only can you find her on YouTube, you can check her out on her website at markpsychiatry.com where you can also find her new videos every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Now possibly my favorite, and I know we're not supposed to pick favorites, but I told you I was bringing you honest, transparent, truth-tellingly free conversations on mental health. And so Dr. Jennifer Mulan of Decolonizing Therapy, I found my own life coach through her practice this as well and Dr. Jennifer Milan is a clinical psychologist who's been doing this work for over 15 years. She also specializes in higher education, teaching and grant writing and what I love about Dr. Jennifer Milan's practice the most is her focus on the different systems of oppression that deeply impact our lives as black women and people of color. Not only does she center the various inequities that people of queer, black, brown and indigenous experiences experience she also focuses on our ancestral trauma. That is the historical and generational trauma that our people are still moving through. Part of her work in decolonizing therapy is actually untraining mental health professionals in the system itself and also facilitating radicalizing rage workshops. You can book her for international keynotes. You can check her out if you're in the Jersey City area where she practices as a full-time psychologist at the New Jersey City University Counseling Center. Some of her services include ancestral indigenous wound work, collective healing, healing the parent wound, healing race-based traumatic stress, and focusing on sexuality, gender, and identity. She honors your race Age, your capitalism fatigue and your migration trauma and she helps you heal all of this she offers coaching services therapeutic services and if her schedule and calendar is booked there are other people on her team that you can work alongside who are also rooted in her mission and vision of decolonizing therapy you can check out dr jennifer mulan and decolonizing therapy online at www drjennifermilan.com. You can check her out at Decolonizing Psychology on Facebook and Decolonizing Therapy on Instagram and Twitter. Third, there is Dr. Rita Walker. She is also a clinical psychologist born in VA Atlanta and I've named her as well multiple times in my videos and that is because she is the author of the newest text, The Unapologetic Guide to Black Mental Health. 
She is also a social justice advocate and her work is really rooted in the need to shift the conversation about mental health in the African American community where there's currently a lot of stigma and resistance around mental health issues. Dr. Rita's work is to help people understand the relationship between racism and discrimination and depression and suicide. But also the very idea of resilience in our community leaves a lot of us feeling like we're immune to emotional crisis or mental illness. She talks about both the strengths and challenges around spirituality when it comes to mental health. She really and truly helps provide information for people who are struggling with stress, de-stigmatize mental health treatment, and to help people identify healthy and constructive ways to cope with their stressors. And importantly, she helps the everyday person and even professionals recognize the different kind of behaviors that would be symptoms that signify people are dealing with stress, people are experiencing mental health challenges, particularly people in marginalized communities. I think what's really great about listening to the voices of black women is oftentimes they're bringing culturally informed practices to the conversation. And that's exactly what Dr. Rita Walker is doing. You can find her on her website at www.ritawalkerphd.com. You can also find her here on YouTube and on Twitter with the same handle, Rita Walker PhD, and on Instagram at Dr. Rita Walker. And five, another board certified psychiatrist is Dr. Jess. Dr. Jessica Clemens, who I first came across when I was looking for black women who were also psychiatrists Psychiatrist. Very hard to find it seems. But I came across four videos on The Breakfast Club on Revolt TV where Dr. Jess talked about managing depression and anxiety, dealing with grief, and most importantly, eradicating the stigma around mental health. She's also become popular for her live session in therapy with Dr. Jess on VH1. And she is very well known for her public conversations on mental health. Not only can you find her here on YouTube at The Breakfast Club, but also her own channel, Dr. Jess. You can find her on Instagram and Twitter at AxDrJess. And number six is Dr. Imani Walker. Dr. Imani J. Walker is a physician who specializes in general adult psychiatry and also the chief medical officer at Gateways Hospital and Medical Health Center. And you know her already more than certainly if you watch Bravo, then you may have come across a TV show Married to Medicine. And this is Dr. Imani, Dr. Imani Walker. She's actually a native of Harlem, Shout out to all the Harlemites, you know, West Harlem in the building. And now she is in the Los Angeles area, so you'll find her on Married to Medicine Los Angeles. I love her personality, at least as it's depicted on Married to Medicine LA. She is such a sweetheart to me. She's super compassionate and down to earth and just loving and honest. And she cuts right to the chase, in fact. Recently, I listened to an episode of Brown Ambition. Shout out to my homegirls, the Budgetista and Mandy, who've been doing the Brown Ambition podcast and work around financial wellness for women, brown women who are ambitiously working towards financial freedom. And Dr. Imani was recently on one of their podcast episodes and it just reminded me of why I love her so much. She also has a podcast herself called Imani State of Mind, which she produces alongside one of her good friends. And I would certainly recommend you check out her podcast, check out the TV show. She does appearances, she does coaching, and she really just wraps the whole concepts of mental health and wellness and education around pop culture. You can find her at dr-imani.com. You can find her on Instagram and Facebook at doctor, spelled out completely, doctor.imani. And check out imanistateofmind.com as well. Number seven, reminding us that rest is reparations is Trisha Hersey. Self-proclaimed the Nap Bishop, Trisha Hersey is the founder and creator of the Nap Ministry. She is a performance artist, a theater maker, a community healer, a bishop, and an activist. Did we ever imagine that napping, actually getting rest, is a form of resistance or that it could be an art form, an immersive cultural experience of just bringing people together to rest collectively? 
in a world where grind culture seems to be a value, the Nat Bishop comes in and truly offers community healing. She offers site-specific installations of community rest spaces. She also does lectures and coaches, and she facilitates immersive writing workshops. Trissa Hershey's been in the game for four years now, and she is also based out of Atlanta. Shout out to the A, y'all are doing great work out there. A. Oh, and she's also doing this work in Chicago, but you don't have to be in Atlanta or Chicago to find The Nat Ministry. All you have to do is go to at The Nat Ministry on Facebook, Instagram, and or Twitter. Or you can go straight to Trisha Hershey's website at www.trishahersey.com and follow her blog, thenatministry.wordpress.com. Number eight, I want to welcome into the conversation YouTube's own Shan Boudram, also known as Shan Booty. Shan Booty is a certified sex educator, dating coach, and relationship expert. And you can find her on the new daily show on Quibi, Sexology with Shan Boudram. Shan Booty is someone that I came across watching Shameless Maya's videos, which I talked about in my top fave YouTube-based video, which you can find here. And at that point, I was watching a lot of Lacey Green's work, and she does a lot of work around sexology and sexual education. Then I came across Shan Booty, and I just love her degree of vulnerability. I, I followed her for quite some time now so to really see her grow in her journey, her personal journey and how she shared that openly with the YouTube community and essentially the public. To see her on so many different spaces from YouTube to MTV and even The Real, I feel like I've just grown along with her. And she recently got married and said, I nothing to do with black women and their mental health, but we all know that black women deserve more than unrequited love. So to see black love, black excellence depicted in her relationship has just been a joy to watch. So please check out Shan Boudreaux. Her book as well is called The Game of Desire, Five Surprising Secrets to Dating with Dominance and Getting What You Want. You can find Shan Boudreaux on IG, Facebook, and Twitter at Shan Boudreaux. Check her out on her website as well, www.shanboudreaux.com. And of course, check her out here on YouTube at Shan Booty. All right, y'all, shout out to Detroit, Michigan. I'm talking to you now about Adrienne Marie Brown. She is an author, a doula, a women's rights activist, and a black feminist, again, based in Detroit, Michigan. And let me tell you my claim to fame, y'all. I know this woman. In fact, when I was just out of high school, one of my coworkers had invited me to apply for a job at New York University. So I went and little did I know I was actually applying to become a part of an internship with the League of Pissed Off Voters. And Adrian Marie Brown was one of the main facilitators for this program. And I will never forget her. In fact, before I even remembered her in looking at her book, Pleasure Activism, which I'll talk about in a moment, I saw her on Instagram and I said, I know Harpo, who this woman? I know this woman. I realized, yo, this is the facilitator from the League of Pissed Off Voters, more affectionately known as the League of Young Voters. And I will always remember in the first session I met her, our group was less than lively. And I remember she was trying to get us to engage with her in conversation and discussion around voting and so forth. And we didn't have much to say. I remember I was just, you know, the cat had my tongue. I was a little nervous. And she looked straight at us and was like, look, I don't, this ain't about me. I know I'm great. I know that I'm beautiful. You know, this is about y'all. And I remember being like, oh, okay. And even though I still didn't say anything, in my mind, I thought, who is this woman? You are great, you are beautiful, and thank you for showing up for us. And so today, Asian Marie Brown, if you should ever come across this video, I want you to know that you inspire me and you definitely had an impact in my life growing up, so thank you. Not only is Asian Marie Brown an author, she's a writer, she is an Octavia Butler scholar, she is a podcaster, and she is a pleasure activist. If you haven't already started reading the book Pleasure Activism, please do. I already have my copy and I'll be reading along with the Smart Brown Girls Book Club. Thank you, Jill Z. Pleasure Activism is about the politics of feeling good, but A.J. Marie Brown also authored several other texts, including Emergent Strategy, Shaping Change, and Changing Worlds. And she is the co-author of the text, which I helped sell. How to Get Stupid White Men Out of Office. Yes, that is the name of the book. I still have it. In fact, 
I've had this book since I was a teenager. How to Get Stupid White Men Out of Office. Uh, the Anti-Politics Unborn Guide to Power. Edited by AJ Marie Brown and William Upsky Wimsat, the founder of the League of Pissed Off Voters. She is the co-editor of Octavia's Brood, Science Fiction and Social Justice Movements, and co-host of the podcast How to Survive the End of the World and Octavia's Parables. And you can find her across the interwebs at Asian Marie Brown on Instagram, Asian Marie on Twitter and Facebook, and www.adrianmariebrown.net. Yes, Adrian Marie Brown, you are the shit. Number 10, y'all, is Narissa Nefertiri. She is a longtime model, an herbalist, a doula, and she is saving the world one poom poom at a time. Narissa offers services for our yoni, our vaginas, and she offers yoni steams, yoni steam herbs, yoni stools. She also offers postpartum doula services. She has a skincare line, including vegan makeup. You can find her at ninifem.com com and e n e f e m fem health.com where you can find plant based fem care she just opened a shop in miami so whether you're at her brick and mortar shop or you're on her online shop you can find waist beads sage menstrual cups yoni eggs get them kegels working um and i promise you she's your fave lock sisters favorite lock sister so Check her out. She really connects women with their sacred space. And she just reminds us that when we stand in alignment with our full body, mind, our soul, our mind, our body, our spirit, our psyche, and we take care of our fullest selves, that we truly stand in our power. You can find her on Instagram at Narissa Nefertiri, and you can also find her shop on Instagram at Lotus Fresh Line. So that's it. Those are 10 sisters killing the game in mental health building you up, lifting your spirits, taking care of your mind, body, body, mind. Doulas, doctors, bishops, and healers, oh my. Before I go, I cannot turn off my camera without first shouting out two other sisters here on the YouTube sphere doing great work around mental health awareness and mental health education. First, I wanna shout out Black Girl Crave, also another sister with bipolar disorder, and she talks about her lived experience with the condition. So please check out her channel. And Rashonda James, she is a licensed mental health counselor, therapist. She gives a lot of insight into how to deal with mental health challenges. So check out her channel. She has lots of great content. And before I wrap up, let's go ahead and spotlight Kristen Smith the brilliant mind behind Sight Black Women. In November 2017, Kristen Smith said, you know, I'm really tired of my white peers stealing my ideas and publishing it in their names. So how about we start an entire movement where we honor the intellectual property of Black women. So it is a black feminist campaign and initiative that has gone global that honors the minds and the work of black women. Cite black women is the one good thing you can do for the world today. So right now I'm going to share the five principles of cite black women. The first principle is to read black women's work. I'm always sharing black women's books and writings. Read them. Please share them with a friend. Buy the books from black bookshops. Integrate black women into the core of your syllabus in class and in real life. So bring the text into your college coursework. Take it into your classrooms with your middle schoolers. But most importantly, take the ideas and the brilliance and the know-how and the research into your own lives and apply it into your conversations and into your movements as you traverse this plane with other black women, okay? Acknowledge our intellectual production. <laughs> Make space for black women to speak. I mean, not only at the table, but build tables for black women to be centered at. Spotlight other black women. Speak up yourself as a black woman. Pass the mic to black women. 
don't take the mic from black women. Highlight black women on your platform. Shout out black women from your window. Thank a black woman today. Give black women the space and the time to breathe. Matter of fact, let me, let me practice the science of breath right now. <laughs> Yo, we deserve it. I'm gonna rest after this. If you enjoyed this video and you know someone who could benefit from the information, please like the video, share with your friends, and remember, subscribe. I've got more videos like this coming your way. I'm sharing a plethora of resources for you to benefit from. So it's win-win, homie. Go ahead and let me know what you wanna hear more of in the comments down below. And I will see you again on the internet somewhere. Shout out to Evelyn from the internet. Don't just cite black women, love black women, protect black women, honor black women, hold black women. I will to black women. I got a question for the sisters real quick. Sis. If I were to ask you to name 10 things that you absolutely love, how long would it take before you named yourself? I just want to take a moment to honor you, sis. The God in me recognizes the God in you, and I appreciate you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for existing. Yes, thank you for just being. So what I want y'all all to do with me really quickly is to think about the black women in your lives who have motivated you, inspired you, pushed you forward, and helped you be the person that you are today. Can you think of just one black woman and write her name down in the comments? I'm sure you can think of just one, if not 10, and sis, start with you.